Hey, welcome to Mom's Fit Life. This is your June newsletter workout. So the way this one is gonna work is we're gonna superset things. So instead of having like round one, round two, round three, you're gonna do two exercises, three rounds, then move on to two new ones, three rounds, etc. That being said, you are on your back with a medium set of dumbbells, core is engaged, slight bend in those elbows, lowering towards the floor, squeezing the chest, leading with those pinkies as you raise back up. So you will do this exercise and the next one back to back three times before moving on instead of doing like six exercises on repeat. So that's called a superset. So again, exhale, lift the pelvic floor, tighten the core, lower the dumbbells and lift leading with the pinkies really thinking about that exhale the most as you rise back up you can inhale on the lower if you need to safely put those dumbbells off to the side coming up into a tabletop position you're only going to need one dumbbell for this so you can put the other one kind of off to the side out of the way and then flat back lower abs engaged, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. Bring that dumbbell towards your pocket. Exhale as you lift, tightening the core, lifting that pelvic floor, making sure that you are not shifting to your right as you lift that dumbbell. You do not want to change your weight shift at all. Again, that lower back is flat, abs are engaged the whole time. And then you are working very hard to maintain your balance and your stability. Do not shift as you lift. Exhale, lift that pelvic floor, tighten the core. Okay, so now you're gonna repeat those two, two more times, and then you're moving on to this next superset. If you have any questions about that, let me know. All right, we are on our new superset. So you're bringing your right hand and your right leg to the chair. Left hand is going to row. Think about bringing that dumbbell up in a C curve towards your pocket. Exhale, lift the pelvic floor, tighten the core, lift the elbow. So again, it's kind of doing that C curve. You're supported here, so your core does not have to work as hard, but you should still be feeling it. Making sure that you are not um, totally relying on the side that's not working. You still want to center your body weight between your legs and over the middle of your body. Head is in line with your spine. Really working through that row, elbow nice and high, coming towards that pocket. And then we're going to go to elevated push-ups. I'm going to show them to you on the wall. If I were to do them on the chair, I'd be hitting my head but feel free to come to a lower surface or even the floor if you can handle it. Arms are, hands are at chest height, elbows are coming back at a 45 degree angle. So you wanna make sure that like, as you lower down, your head and elbows should make a nice triangle. You do not want your elbows way out to the side. Okay, so now you're gonna do that two more times before moving on to the final superset. Okay, so now we're gonna go into that final superset, three rounds here. You're gonna be on your back one more time. We're gonna start with a chest press. So both dumbbells up over your chest, lowering down, slight tap on the floor. Thinking about letting those shoulder blades glide around your rib cage as you lift and lower. Thinking about squeezing your chest together as you lift back up. Do not use your triceps more than your chest here. Core should be slightly engaged throughout the movement. Exhale as you press back up. Okay, you can also do this with your head and sh shoulders supported on like a stability ball. You can do this fully supported on a bench, whatever is the most comfortable for you. And then our final move here is going to be a bent over reverse fly. Slight bend in those elbows, hinging at the hips. Exhale, lift the pelvic floor, tighten the core, raise those arms, squeezing your shoulder blades back behind you as you lift. Control it coming down, making sure that you are not letting gravity win. 
the more in control you are, the more help you are getting and the more strength you are gaining. Okay, so you're gonna repeat those two, two more times, and then you are all set. And that is your workout. Of course, you can find the full follow along, three rounds of everything in the membership. Ask me any questions that you might have and head over to the Facebook group.